Hey, what's up guys? I've got a nice big old package here from Vinegar Syndrome to unbox for you. This is from their most recent... Which, hold on, I need my scissors instead of my... Well, no, I'll use my box cutter. This is from their recent... Um, what's it called? Halfway to Black Friday, I think it's called. Ah, there we go. They do the sale every year. This is the second year I'm actually participating in it. Um, the first year was last year that I did. I bought a bunch of crap last year. And, uh, oh, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna use my scissors for this. Um, over Memorial Day weekend, they always do. I don't know if they always do, but I know they've only done a couple years now. This is just the second time that I'm aware. Like I said, I just said, but, uh, I got a couple things. Um, I actually have most things that I wanted. So I didn't have to buy much. I bought the two surprise things that they had, and I bought one more thing that I didn't uh, get yet. So let's see. Let's just well, I'll just grab them all. <coughs> well, no, you know what? I'll do one more time. Oh, oh look, they're giving out stickers. I got a sticker. Here's my. That's cool. First one I got is, this is not one of the, the um, surprise ones. This is one that was released, I believe this is the, uh, actually this is the, maybe this is part of the June pack, I don't know. But uh, it is Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. Um, this looked pretty cool. I thought this cover looked really awesome. Um, this is embossed, you can see it's a little glossy there. Uh, very cool, actually the spine is too. See that, that's pretty cool. It's got artwork that wraps around. Bloodsuckers from Space, and this is out of, how many? I'm assuming about 2,000 or so copies for the slipcover. Here's the uh, original artwork, or the first artwork. Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. Actually, let me open this up so I can read this better. I had heard, actually, this has got pretty good reviews, considering it's uh, kind of a uh, schlocky horror. 1984 is what it was made. One thing I dislike about this, they have these, um, things in the top, which I don't love, but that's fine. I'll leave that for now. It's a two disc, like usual. There's, well, that's probably the original artwork. This is the newer artwork that matches this artwork here. As you can see, that's cool. So two disc, Blu-ray, DVD. Um... Maybe I will switch it because oh. this is kind of cool, but it looks very much like the, the cover artwork, so maybe I'll just switch it and have the old school artwork. There we go. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's not quite straight. It's only a chainsaw there. <laughs> Blood suckers from outer space. Done by Glenn Coburn. Let's take a look at this now. Uh, a mysterious and invisible alien presence has landed in rural Texas and has started turning the nearby townspeople into white-faced, bloodthirsty killers. As the local authorities begin to investigate the strange and violent goings-on, a photographer and his girlfriend find themselves trapped in the midst of an unexpected rural bloodbath, which seeks to turn them into another pair of bloodsuckers from outer space. A low-budget, low-rent horror comedy from writer-director Glenn Coburn, Bloodsuckers from Outer Space is a gory and silly slice of homemade, regional genre filmmaking. Vinegar Syndrome presents this, the Blu-ray debut of the straight-to-video classic, freshly restored eh, from its 16mm negative and filled with a whole host of newly created special features. And it is, like I said, from 1984, 82 minutes, and it is region-free. Newly scanned, restored from 2K negative. Wait, two, in, shit, I can't read. Newly scanned and restored in 2K from 16 millimeter negative. Commentary track with the director and the actor and cinematographer. 34 years later, 50 minutes making of documentary. That's cool. Back to Bloodsucker Town. 50 minute love cadence featurette. Bloody arm rip 101 special effects featurette. That's cool. Still gallery, versatile cover art, and subtitles. 
Very cool. Looking forward to watching this one. I've mixed this before, but sometimes these movies aren't really up my, my cup of tea, or they're not really up my alley. This is kind of cool, like a, like a like a space zombie type thing. That's kind of neat. Like I said, the slip covers are just fucking amazing. Put so much work into these. They are limited, of course, but actually those kind of those glows. I didn't notice that the eyes glow. Yeah, that's a pretty cool. That's awesome. It's a nice little effect. Okay, and here are the two. These are the two that were. Um, what do you call it? Surprise. Like, they had these featured, and they didn't even tell us what they were until the sale started. First one is Pets. I think that's... This is the, this is the cover, actually. In fact, I guess you could use either one of the cover if you wanted, but I think this is the official like cover. Right? Yeah. So, Pets and Deadly Daphne's Revenge. This one they specifically said was not going to be re-released. After this slipcover version sells out, which is only 1,500 copies, they're done, basically. So, uh, honestly, I, I looked at the synopsis and stuff, and I didn't. it didn't really interest me that much, but again, seeing as how these are going to be specialties, I figured, what the hell, I'll buy them. And like I've mentioned before, I don't always love the stuff that they put out, but I will support groups like Thimgris and Rum because they need to be... We need people like the we need companies like these boutique stores because they're the ones that actually still uh, justify physical media, I suppose. A lot of mainstream ones don't cater to people who collect, and uh, I would really prefer it if people like Vinegar Syndrome and Aero Video and things like that stayed in business. So I buy things I might not necessarily love just to help with that. There's my little bit of that can help. So that's the same artwork there for pets. And I don't. This looks more like a. Um, exploitation type film, but uh, the comments section in Blu-ray.com was very impressed this was being released, so it must be popular, I guess. Um, actually, I'll just cut the plastic off because it's easier to read. It's not so glary. Pets, pets, pets. Shit, can't get it. There we go. Hold on. And one more time. Two disc set. And that looks like that's probably the original artwork. Rare and dangerous species in vivid color. Turn that around. So probably not necessarily a film I would love, but I, I'll probably watch it at some point. At the very least, I'll just have it in my collection. Because of course I do. I have um, 25, 30 of these. Now I'll have to do a Vinegar Syndrome collection update at some point because I'm getting a lot more than I thought I would. They're releasing these a lot more often than I thought they would too. They're releasing like brand new slipcover versions every month. And uh, pff, it's draining my bank account, man. Okay, so this says, um, let me zoom in on this here. Uh, teenage Runaway Bonnie. Candace Rylson, 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 has, <coughs> excuse me, shit, I got a frog in my throat. Uh, Tina Runway Bonnie has escaped the clutches of her controlling brother, only to become immediately embroiled in a twisted web of sexual manipulation. Initially convinced to aid in a carjacking, Bonnie is then taken in by a lecherous lesbian artist who hopes to groom her into a sophist, sophic, sapphic lover, only to have her plans thwarted by the perverse advances of a local gallery owner whose bizarre proclivities include the keeping of an unusual assortment of pets. A truly unparalleled exploitation film viewing experience, Raphael Nussbaum's Pets veers between moments of overwrought melodrama and jarring boots bouts of unhinged sleaze. Co-starring Ed Bishop, Joan Blackman, and Mike Cartel, and adapted from Nussbaum's own stage play. So it's not a play, that's kind of cool. Vinegar Syndrome presents this drive-in classic newly restored from rare 35mm elements and on Blu-ray for the very first time. And from 1973, 102 minutes, region free. And we have some special features. We got the 2K scan, interview with Mike Cartel, um, alternate title sequence, still gallery trailer cover. So not a whole lot of features, but still kind of cool. Rare and dangerous species. So, like I said, this is more of the exploitation veering 
which is cool in its own right. I prefer more of their horror stuff they do on their sci-fi. Deadly Daphne's Revenge. Like I said, this one has got, um, um, what am I trying to say? His, uh, they, they said on the site specifically this was not going to be released after this pressing, so. I wanted to make sure I got that. The exact, exact same thing on the back here, I think, yeah. Let's cut this fucker open. Oops. One more time. Gotcha. Okay. And I guess the previous title was The Hunting Season. So... Oh, it's not the same title. I don't like usually changing it to the other title. It's actually very different artwork, too. I'll change it anyway, though. Just because it's different. Four middle-aged men are headed to a remote lodge for a weekend of hunting. Stopping on the way to pick up a pretty teenage hitchhiker, the foursome lure her to their cabin wherein she is savagely attacked and assaulted by two of the men. After making her escape, the young woman decides to file charges against the men who picked her up, but in doing so unleashes the unexpected vengeance of Charlie, her main attacker, and setting in motion a series of deadly incidents. Miss Market as a horror film, Deadly Daphne's Revenge is a slow burn revenge thriller shot as The Hunting Party, or Hunting Season, excuse me. Conceived as a vanity project for writer, director, producer, star Richard Gardner, and sold as a sort of promotional tie in for Gardner's Orange County based talent agency, that's funny. Daphne is a genre bending piece of outsider filmmaking which incorporates rape and revenge tropes, crime thriller set pieces, and vague slasher illusions. Vinegar Syndrome brings this unique exploitation film to Blu ray, uncut and restored from its original negative. It is from 1981, 90 minutes, and it is vegan free, of course. And that's, I think, a picture of Daphne there. She looks nuts. Crazy, crazy. 2K scan, the 35 millimeter negative, answering the call, interview with actress Jodie Jerez, alternate opening title sequence, extensive archival still gallery, isolated score by composer John Banning, limited slip slipcover, which is this guy here, versatile artwork, and subtitles. That's in very arresting image there. Nothing more dangerous than a woman seeking revenge. That's very neat, I think. Oops. Very cool. That's what I got from this package. I will show one more thing I got. Um, the fucking thing. Um, during the sale, there was one more thing that I, I told... I think I'd mentioned before that I planned on never getting this because it sounded stupid. I was reading up on it more, and it sounded actually like it might be interesting, and I noticed that the slipcover version was getting lower and lower in quantity, so I was waiting to try to get it for, you know, 17 16 bucks price. And then right when I, the, the, the sale started, there were some available, but I it started at like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was in bed. So when I woke up the next morning at about 7.30, I checked online, and it was gone. So I went to Blu-ray.com, and... Basically mentioned that to somebody, to people online, and said I fucking kicked myself for not doing that. And some kind soul who was happening to go to the store, the actual store called the Archive, I think it's called the Archive, uh, in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, said he would grab me a copy if I would just PayPal and stuff. And so I said, "Yep, if you find one." And he said, "Okay." He came back and said they had a stack of them. I paid him. He sent it to me, and I got it. Actually, I got it before I got these. And that is Lucifer's Women. I already opened it and stuff to make sure, because was, there was a loose disc in there, and I wanted to make sure it was okay, but um, I'm so happy I did, because this was the only one, I'm pretty sure anyway, since they started releasing slipcover editions, this is the only one I didn't have, and I think at the moment, the only one I'm missing is a uh, Sweet Badass, or something like that, it's the uh, black exploitation one that just came out like last month, and uh, there's still a bunch of copies left, so I'm going to wait, I'm hopeful that I can wait until... Um, the next sale, so I, I I don't know though. I'll, I might have to bite the bullet and buy it. But this one I, I knew I was going to be screwed if I didn't. So I'm very happy to get this. Lucifer's Women, also known as Doctor Dracula, I believe. Yeah. Two disc. Here's the other artwork there, Doctor Dracula. Yeah. Happy to get it. I should have just bought it when I could, but I guess either way, I was trying to hold out to save money. But um, 
and of spending the same amount of money I would have spent anyway. But thanks to that cool guy for helping me out. So that's great that the community helped me out there. And uh, yeah, so I got actually four this last week of the new uh, From the Vinger Syndrome sale. Although I guess technically that wasn't on sale. It was regular price. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will have more of these types of videos in the future. I actually, like I just mentioned previously, I will probably do a, um, what do you call it, a collection update because I got a lot of these. I don't think I've ever done a um, Vinegar Syndrome collection like update, so maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. But until then, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around. And that's it. <laughs> then I had something else to say, but I don't. Thanks for watching, guys. This is cool. Bye.